people put off errands and going places. Shannon Hill loves summer tourists coming into her butcher shop, Maine Meat. The traffic that comes with them, she could do without. They're thrust into our tiny downtown area and will back up traffic for upwards of two miles. The past few years, bridge construction here in Kittery has been a way of life, but one bridge remained untouched, unaffected, until now. That bridge is the most important bridge in the state. Beginning in June, the Maine DOT, New Hampshire DOT, and Maine Turnpike Authority will begin a $53 million rehab of the Piscataqua River Bridge, the one that carries I-95 into Maine. The overall length of the project is probably about two and a half to three years. Maine DOT spokesman Paul Merrill told us the bridge work is critical. Surface and joint work of this kind hasn't been done since the structure opened in 1972. But the work will require lane closures, ramp closures, and lowering speed limits, all potential causes for a backup. Folks who live here say it's not the traffic pattern that's really the problem. It's the way drivers are getting around it. They use um, ways and they say, oh, I can get off the highway and I can go through downtown Kittery. Maine DOT says there's a plan to mitigate that. At peak times, like during the day midsummer, all bridge lanes in both directions will be left open. We don't want people to try to go off on other roads just if the delay is a few minutes. And while some locals think that's optimistic, they also say the work is necessary to keep the highway moving. Their plan for the next few years can be summed up with just one word. Adapt. In Kittery, Dustin Blinkowski, News Center, Maine.